reality right now, but from God's perspective, with esta by establishing communication with the evil world of the supernatural, the occult. I do a class years ago called The Place of the Dead. I should do it again, but I don't like to teach this. Nine and last, you have um, the calling up of the dead, one who calls up the dead, another exp expression for this, a different shade of meaning. In Hebrew, it's called Doresh El Ametim. Doresh El Ametim, it's necromancy. The necromancer. Necromancer, as it pronounced. It's seeking from among the dead, seeking information from among the dead. We call it a necromancer. We call it a necromancer. Is it that other word up there? Oh, this is, I'm, I'm just about there. Have you noted, have you noted all this? Yeah. I'm going to take only five minutes of your time and we release uh, Kenneth that he may go to bed. There you go. I have two observations to make quickly and we're out. Okay, two observations. There is tablets called Raz Shamra. There is a tablet called Raz Shamra, R-A-S-S-H-A-M-R-A-H. It's part of what you call, you might be familiar with the Ugaritic text. The Ugaritic tablets. It's like the Gilgadesh tablets. They have an account of the flood and all the practice. In the Rash Shamra, part of the Ugaritic tablets, it shows that these practices were done. There is written information on them that these practices were practiced by the Canaanites. The Canaanites were in the land and they, they needed to kick them out. The result, number two observation, the result of these practices include three things, easy. Number one, demonism. Number two, sexual perversion, perver, uh, perversion. Perversion, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. See it again, uh, Vicky? Perversion. Perversion, thank you so much, from the word pervert and so on. And three, violence. Demonism is very dark. So if you have a Ouija board at home, make sure that tonight it's thrown into the garbage. If you have tarot cards and so on, it has to be dismissed from your houses. Have to. I'm going to stop right there. Right at that place. I'm glad I'm done because I took the time. I should have built a slide or sent you an addendum. You have all these uh, practices. So what do we conclude all, all all of it. These were Canaanite practice, and when God says you kick them out and the harem curse, you destroy, devoted to destruction, everything, these are the reasons for it, and God has the right to judge it this way. I've been in Egypt. I visited Egypt. I can't remember for how long, almost two weeks. It's a mess, the witchcraft. If you would like to see witchcraft around the pyramids and so on, and doors that leads to tunnel of darkness, pure occult. I felt it myself even in my hotel type of thing. You go there once. Don't go. If you want to go, go, but you're not going to go back. Filthy country from A to Z. Lots of witchcraft. That's not for nothing that the leavened bread did not have time to leaven when God kicked them out Israel of there, when he released them, when he, uh, how do you say that? Uh, Exodus, when they exit Israel, and he does not allow to get a horse there. There are reasons for these things. All of these practices. We're doing it here. I know, 
Did you think they're Hoover Island is children. the capital? Yeah. Even little children that they don't know they're doing it. They just think Harry Potter. Thank you for uh, you two people. Thank you for watching us. Hope you enjoyed the session.